on today's Daily KHL Update, Nicholas Backstrom celebrates his birthday in style and as a present, he receives Leo Komarov. Roman Cervenka and Lev dominate Lokomotiv. And I'm not sure SKA St. Petersburg knows how to have a boring game anymore. All that and more on today's Daily KHL Update. Dynamo Moscow faces off against Severstal. Drum roll, please, ladies and gentlemen, Leo Komarov is back. The game was also broadcasted in the UK on Premier Sports. No scoring in the first, so we pick it up in the second. Just 12 seconds in, Alex Rezantsev blasts one, one nothing Severstal. Three and a half minutes later, Severstal gets another one. This time it's Bogdan Kiselevich with a shot from the high slot. 2-0 Severstal. And just over three minutes after that, Severstal strikes again. Here's Premier Sports with the call. Kantov misses a chance. Oh, it's a goal. It's 3-0. Oh, Dinamo falling apart. Great strike. 3 nothing Severstal, but it's far from over. About a minute later, Dmitry Pastunov gets one back for Dynamo 3-1. Dennis Cocker was a primary assist, but props to Lya Garoka for storming the crease to create options for a pass. Less than a minute later, Komarov gets the puck from Backstrom behind the net, passes to Ovechkin, and he makes it 3-2. What a pass by Komarov, eh? He's been solid lately in the AHL with the Marlies. Good to see him take him no time to readjust to KHL hockey. Five minutes later, Dynamo is on the power play. Komarov finds Philip Novak wide open on the near side and he ties it at threes. Novak is a defenseman, so you can't help but wonder what was he doing down there. But hey, he scored. That's his force of the season. Four minutes later, Backstrom again avoids the hip check, passes to Ovechkin, and he tries to feed Komarov in front, but he hits the defenseman's skate and it goes in instead. 4-3. Backstrom is just a beast. It looked like Severstal player got him lined up, but Nicholas just showed him how to skate. Wow. Just five minutes left in regulation now. Dynamo's on the power play again, and Nicholas Backstrom adds a marker to his three assists. 5-3, blue and white. That's a pretty good performance, and it's Backstrom's birthday too. Quite a present he made for himself. Happy birthday, terrific game. British fans got themselves a treat too. 5-3 Dynamo Final. Ilya Kovalchuk and SKA St. Petersburg play host to Dynamo Minsk. No scoring after 30 minutes of play, but SKA finally gets one past Pekarine here. Ivan Nepraev feeds Vladimir Tarasenko cross ice and he connects 1-0 SKA. Nepraev saved the day for St. Petersburg in the game against Severstal, scoring a game-winning goal. And he got his third point of the season here. SKA's goal Ilya Yezhov also got an assist on this play. 19 seconds later, SKA looks like they're going for the same play, but no, they're a little more creative than that. 2-0. Dmitry Kalinin and Tony Mortensen sure fooled everyone here with this give and go. Mortensen gets his 12th of the season. Gross. Dynamo pulls within one, less than a minute left in the second. Charles Lingley drives to the crease hard and beats Ilya Yezhov 2-1. Lingley scores his third of the season and proves once again that KHL's bigger ice surface opens up the doors for a completely different brand of goals. Halfway through the third, Dynamo on the power play. Yeri Karolati with the puck and he sends a rocket to Ilya Yezhov. Yezhov finds it moments later in the back of his net 2-2. What a blast! Karolak has scores his first of the season. Huge shot from a huge defenseman. The game goes into overtime and SKA is looking for a goal and they get it. Yuri Alexandrov shot with just a tad too much for Rene, but it counts nonetheless. Alexandrov wins it for SKA with his second of the season. Interestingly, the teams were tied at 38 shots. Another close win for St. Petersburg, 3-2 OT final. Roman Cervenka and Lev host Red Hot Locomotive, and the home team gets the first goal of the game. Cervenka sets up Yuri Novotny for a shot, rebound, and Cervenka puts it home. 1-0. That's Cervenka's first KHL goal this season. He recently joined Lev from another Prague-based team, Slavia, that plays in the Czech Extraliga. Locomotive got really close to tying things up on this play as Alex Chernikov hit the crossbar so close. Early in the second now, Lev is on the power play, Vitaly Vishnevsky almost clears the puck, Martin Skula stops it on the blue line, passes to Tom Zorovi, that's too easy, 2-0. Zorovi scores his eighth of the season and Curtis Sandberg can't do anything about it. Less than three minutes later, Sergei Plotnikov gets a minor for boarding, Jakub Voracek turned at the last second though, what's your take, leave a comment. Lev scores right off the faceoff on this power play, Martin Skula with a goal, 3-0. And that would be his first of the season. Tom Rowe calls a timeout after that goal and swaps Sanford for Vitaly Koleshnik. That didn't help much though, just a few minutes later, Matthias Porcelain puts the puck on net and Lubos Bartechko puts it home on the rebound, 4 0. Bartechko gets his second of the season, and that's the second goal Loka has allowed off a rebound in this game, let alone Sir Rowe's goal. Who's covering the slot? Locomotive does show some teeth as Sergei Plotnikov makes it 5 2 in the second. Anisimov and Galimov helped him on this play. This is the exact same line that destroyed Red Army a few days ago. Also, I like how both goal and defenseman jumped in a desperate attempt to stop the shot. 
Sanford comes back on the ice after this goal, but Lev has a firm grip on this one. After Yuri Petrov's shorthanded goal made it 5-3, Lubos Bartetko scored the second of the night, and Michael Repik iced it with an empty netter late in the third. 7-3 Lev final. Evgeny Malkin and Metallurg Magnitogorsk lace him up against Boris again. They played Boris earlier this week in Astana, Kazakhstan and won 5-3. And the home team gets on the board first. Sergei Gonchar and Sergei Mizakin set up Cal O'Reilly for the shot in the slot and it's 1-0 Magnitka. That's happened just 67 seconds into the first period. It's a good way to start a hockey game, wouldn't you say? Da, late in the first now. Scores 1-1. Nikolai Kalemin snipes for another one. Magnitogorsk 2-1. Kulemin with his seventh of the season, matching his season total with the Maple Leafs last season, and Sergei Mazakin picked up another assist on this one. Frustrations mounting here as Evgeny Malkin and Victor Hedman take a disliking to each other. I don't know what they're fighting about. They both were number 71, they were both picked second overall, they both locked out. They have so much in common. You know, I never thought of it that way. Halfway mark of the game now, Magnika on the power play, that's something you don't want to give them, and Dmitry Kazyanov shows why 3-1 medaler. That's his eighth of the season. Mazakin and Gonchar each get an assist again. Magnika doesn't let up, and a few minutes later they're on the power play again. Gonchar winds up, shoots it on net, and it looks like it hits Kulam knee on its way in. 4-1 Medler. Kuhlman was his second of the game and eighth of the year, beating last year's Leafs title. Mazakin gets his fourth assist of the night and Gorcha gets his third. Medler guises it here. Dmitry Kazyanov doesn't like being even with Kuhlman in goal, so he scores his second of the night for his ninth 5-1. For the second time this week, Magnitka scores five goals to down Boris. Mazakin now tops the league in scoring with 38 points. He surpassed Alex Radulov's record. It's a good day to be a Magnitka fan. 5-1 Medler final. Stanislav Bacharov and Yugra visit Chalabins to play Andre Mezin and Tractor. Tractor had to kill three penalties in the first, including a five on three, but Yugra couldn't capitalize, so we start in the second just over eight minutes in. Yegor Dugin finishes off a solo effort with a nice backhand, and it's 1 0 Tractor. Dugin scores just his second of the season and pulls off a signature Evgeny Kuznetsov selling. Now we know who his hero is. Speaking of Kuznetsov, here he is setting up Maxim Yakutsenia and he's known for his wrist shot, 2 0 Tractor. Yakutsenia doesn't get nearly enough credit. Very underrated. His hands are really smooth and as you said, his wrist is just something else. That's his 11th of the season. Late in the third now, Yugra manages to get one back. Maxim Belayev streaking in, crashes into Mezin and the puck goes in. Tractor isn't happy, but the ref says it's a good goal, 2-1. Belayev gets his first of the season. The puck went in before he ran over Mezin, so it's a good goal. Mezin gets the last laugh though. Tractor outshot Yugra 32-18 and went on to win it, 2-1 final. A few more scores to tell you about. Joffrey Lupul with another KHL assist, but Avdimobilist was no match for Avangard. Avangard wins 6 3. Salavat Yulayev walking all over Donbass 5 1. Antti Pielstrom and Nikita Filatov scoring just over 30 seconds apart. Nail Yakupov and Neftahimik get shut out by Dynamo Riga 1 0. Branko Radovojevic gets the OT winner in Spartak's 3 2 victory over Akbars. And Slovan takes down Atlant 3 2. And that's your daily KHL update. I'm Steve Dangle. And I'm Andreas Hachenko.